Hey, welcome back to our little devotional time this morning. Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through 14 today. Let's read it, get it into our brain, and think about it so we can get it into our heart. But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel, so that it has become evident to the whole palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Christ, and most of the brethren in the Lord, having become confident by my chains, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. So that's kind of an interesting thing, isn't it? This is one of Paul's prison epistles. And even though he is in a situation of confinement, of prison, he says that instead of the fellow believers becoming uh, fearful and saying, oh, we've got to tone it down, look what happened to Paul, he says that we should be more bold in the light of his chains that he's experiencing. Isn't that interesting? It's sort of backwards from the way most people would react. But again, of course it would be backwards from the way most people react because we have the Holy Spirit, because we have the Word of God, because we know that God will empower us and transform us and use us, and, and wherever we are, we can serve him. So we will be more bold, not less bold, as persecution comes upon us. We'll be wiser. We'll have to learn how to be wise so that we can continue the witness, but we will be more bold. Now, Paul is assuring his friends here that the things that happened to him are not a miscarriage. It's not something It's not something that uh, God and the angels are left scratching their heads like, wow, that's a surprise. We didn't know that was going to happen. God knew, of course, what would happen. And God has still led Paul to be faithful and do the things he did. And God was still with him, even in his confinement, as he was doing the things of the gospel. He says these things have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel. And you know, the Bible also tells us in another place, we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. And if the devil works against you, don't worry about it. In fact, it's going to turn out all that much better for the kingdom. Uh, It doesn't mean it's going to be joyful and fun every moment. But in the end, the persecutions and harassment that we undergo as followers of Jesus, whether they're from the state or from our neighbors or from even within the church sometimes, you know, that's these things happen. It's all going to go out to the furtherance of the gospel. So we shouldn't be disappointed or disturbed or become bitter by it. God is on his throne and God is working. He says the whole palace guard, it's become to them, evident to them that his chains are in Christ. He talks about the chains twice in this section. Being bound doesn't mean that the gospel's bound. In fact, being persecuted means that you actually may have a bigger pulpit. Uh, I saw these pastors in Canada who were carried away, who were trying to hold church services, and the the secular state there saying, no, you can't do that. You're not following our rules just right. So they hauled them away and put them in jail. Well, guess what? That landed on the internet, and it's gone out across the world. and, And I don't think it's a witness against the gospel. I think it's a witness for the gospel. So God will extend and strengthen the things you're doing for Jesus. I like what it says finally here at 14. I want to remind you of something in verse 14 here. And most of the brethren in the Lord, having become confident by my chains, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Much more bold, not less bold, much more bold, having become confident by Paul's chains. So don't feel like you need to tone it down and and bring the decibel level down. Be led by the Spirit of God. He'll show us what to do. But just when you think something might be uh, problematic, he says we can be much more bold doing what? To speak the word without fear. So there's a word for us today. There's a challenge to you and I today. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be much more bold when we see harassment of believers and unfairness toward us or persecution even. Lord, help us to be Help us, give us discernment, give us wisdom, but help us to be much more bold to speak the word. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. Thank you for these opportunities. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So there's a lesson for us today. I hope you feel more encouraged rather than less encouraged. Persecution should not depress us. It should remind us that all who live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer. Persecution, it it could be a sign that you're in the right space. God be with you today and keep you and me both over the target.